Hi friends, welcome back. Right now we are going to work on making our jellyfish. So you have this paper in week four of your binder. And so some things you're going to need to make your jellyfish is you're going to need the brown paper bag and your two black dots and your two white dots. You're definitely gonna need some paint and it can be any color and something to spread your paint. It could be a paintbrush, and today we're using Q-tips. So the first thing you're going to do, let's look at number one, you're going to paint your bag. And you can pick any color. If you don't have paint, you can use markers or crayons. Yes. So you want to spread all the paint Aurora's spreading all the paint on her bag with the Q-tip. But Nolan. And Nolan is spreading all the paint on his hand. This is a very messy project if you're using paint. So you may want to put down some newspaper on the table and have a sink nearby. All right. So once you're done painting, you want those to dry. So we're going to put them aside to dry. Then you're going to take your black dots and your white dots, and those are going to be your eyes. So you're gonna cut them out. You're gonna cut them out here. All right, so cut out the circles. And you're going to glue together the black eye pieces onto the white eye pieces so that you have two eyes. And they are going to be the eyes on your jellyfish once your bag is dry. Okay, hold on. When you're all done painting and your project has dried, you are going to cut your bag into strips. So moms and dads, you can draw lines on the bag to help your child cut on the line, or you can help them cut hand over hand. All right. And I want to see everyone's finished products in the comments below. Make sure you share with us. All right, have fun with this messy project. Aurora and Nolan, can you say bye to the friends at school? Bye. All right, thanks for joining. Until next time.